G'day all, I'm Zenvius and we're playing Ori in the Blind Forest. We are in the Forlorn Ruins and I have a disclaimer, and if you haven't noticed, you're going to notice now. This is not the same game we were playing before. Um, you may notice that Ori has a lot more health and a little bit more energy. Reason being is I was going to edit this episode and I actually recorded this episode and the next two after it. And when I started editing this episode, I realized I only had 30 seconds of footage because I must not have hit the record button correctly. So I thought, well, you know, I could do it in, um, you know, I, I, I tried to see if there was a way to go back. Uh, Ori does have a, a backtracking system, which I only discovered after doing two hours of, uh, you know, speed running to try to get to this level. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it turns out it, uh, it d didn't go all the way back, so uh, even if I had used what they had, there would have been some footage of the gameplay being missed, and I thought, no, we're not going to do that. So, I've played the whole game again, two hours, <laughs> but I've managed to get us back to here. We've got a few things, because as you can see, a few things have changed, because health has gone up. Reason being is I I felt, you know, I'll, look, I'll enjoy a bit of the gameplay. When I went back, I, I did that area, which was blank before, and I got some stuff from there. I, I did that area, I've actually gone all the way back and I got all the stuff in the ruins. I, this was actually very incredibly easy to solve once you actually realised what you did. Uh, there were things, I, I still haven't gotten to that area, but put simply, I've gone through a whole part of things. And I think I've also figured out how I'm meant to get to there, but we'll figure that out later. But anyway, I'm going to continue on. So yeah, so there's some uh, stuff that's happening behind the scenes that you guys didn't know about. That, yeah, I, <laughs> I, 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 you know, not, not only do I make mistakes in uh, playing the game, I also make mistakes in recording the game. But anyway, uh, so I, on the plus side, I do know what I've got to do to get us through these ruins. So I know the way, everybody. Follow me, I'll get you there. Now, uh, it all comes down to my skill. And the interesting thing, uh, I, I finished the speed run in two hours, and it's taken t taken me four hours to do it here with the commentary. Ow! Stupid frog. Actually, we agreed you're a toad, didn't we? You're the toad! Kill the toad! Okay, there we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> and we'll save here. So yeah, ap uh, apparently it turns out that my skill when playing a game without commentary is significantly superior to when I'm doing it with commentary. Uh, or it's just, you know, I've played enough, I know what I had to do, so I didn't have to wait around doing nothing. But yeah, as you can see, this is a really cool little mechanic they've got going here that uh, the falling is relative to your facing. This was a cool little touch I thought they added. Didn't have to do it at all. But I, again, it just continues to add to just how beautiful this game is. That seems to be the number one comment I'm getting from playing this game. People are just saying just how beautiful this game is. Now, I do want to show you something. This this is a cool little mechanic. See, at first I tried to do this, try and get through here. And even with my triple jump and my immunity, it's possible. But it's still, it doesn't work. And I'm, I'm going to die because I need to show you this. What you've got to do, I thought this was brilliant. You've got to do this. You've got to fall through it. I thought, okay, that is really cool. This is the this is the this is a sign of good game design that it's given you a, a situation which it's using what it's taught you, you what you've discovered, and it it's just good. All right, uh, uh, okay, Ori, okay. All right, and we are fumbling along. Anyway, we'll drop this. Keystone number four. So far, I have not found a gate that needs more than four keystones. And it always seems to be in even numbers. Not three. Always two and four. Never one. Oh, and this is another little thing I want to show you. Uh, okay, so when I first came across this thing, I thought, okay, I have to jump on that and use the gravity globe to make it happen. Nope. We've got double jump. <laughs> um, uh, it, it's really cool that they have that. That they've actually set us something in there to make you assume you've got to do one thing when you don't. Anyway, let's get this map stone. Here we go. There's the rest of the Forlorn Ruins. All right. That's where we're headed. Let's get through there. Here we go. Oh, ah! Stupid bug. Cuter bug. Ow! Not bad bug. 
Now there's what we need. Get through those. And we're about to say goodbye to the snow globe. Oh! Oh yes! That's right. I've seen this already, but yeah. Gumon comes back. Yeah, it's kind of sad, because if you saw in the last episode, all his people are dead. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of messed up, messed up. So, uh, we will pop this in here. There we go. Okay. The shrine, this shrine must have powered all they had built. Look at it now. What? Look at what it did. There's oh, there's Gumon. Oh yeah, and his friends are all dead. Yeah, all his people are gone. Uh, I wonder if that's going to come back and bite us somehow. We'll find out. And climb it up to ding. So we don't have a gravity ball anymore. <coughs> We're gonna have to go without. Oh, here, Gumon. I wonder if Gumon knows of their fate. I hope he can forgive us that they that we live and they are gone. Well, it's not exactly our fault. Like Kuro, Kuro did all you know the death. I assume it's Kuro's fault that this has all happened. Okay. Uh, ow. Okay. Good thing I saved. This is a little tricky. Ow. Okay. So what I've got to do is I, I've got to actually get up on top of this thing, as you can see. <laughs> now, we can go straight up. That is where the element of wind is. Uh, okay, damn it. I was narrating, damn it. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Try again. Yeah. All right, there we go. So yeah, we can just go straight up here. And that would get us the element of the wind. But we've got time before this episode ends. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to try and get to that stuff. And I have done it. I've just got to get to it. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let me use this. Yes! Okay, okay, okay! Saving! Saving! Oh god, okay, we are saving there. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, don't, don't, don't shoot me, Death Ray. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, oh, spikies. Okay, drop. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, ah, oh dear, okay, that was not fun, okay, and that was pretty much not needed, <laughs> okay, well, let's, ah, shit, oh god, okay, oh, I can climb now, can't I, what am I doing that for, right, here we go, here we go, um, uh, alright, I guess we just double jump and hope we can get enough, there we go, yes, ha <laughs> ha, all right, we'll say we'll actually, uh, yeah, we'll save here, and we'll try to get across to the other side. Gonna take me on the other side. Hello, 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 I am there. Excellent. Okay. All right, here we are. This is the element of wind. Actually, you know what? We'll save here, and then we will look at it in the next episode. So I am Zenvius. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you then. Toodaloo!